your time forgotten You're the change in my pocket Quoting Lennon with a wink Off my lawn. I'll get you later, B. Okay. Hey there, stranger. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, Jeff. I'm B. Say, Jeff, I haven't seen you around town. Where do you hail from? Uh, Munsonville. Originally Vancouver, though. Oh, yeah. Say, that's a nice horse you got there. You like horses, Jeff? I think I'm pretty indifferent to horses, I don't know. I consider myself quite the horse expert. In fact, I could give you an equine education if you like. Actually, this is my son Steven's horse. My wife, Molly, gave it to him. She's right inside. Oh, well, good for her. You know, it's not every day you find a man that can handle a horse. OK. You know, I had this momentum going with the boxes. Yeah. Oh, oh, honey. I'll let you get back to your family, hon. But listen, you know, I just live down the road here, so if you ever want to see a real horse, you know, you come on down. If you behave yourself, I'll even let you groom them. Right. Uh, well, I'm going to go. All right, then. Molly, is horse ever slang for vagina? What? Yeah, like, I think one of our neighbors just propositioned me sexually. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, you're, you're not kidding? No. I did that whole, like, gesture to the ring thing. She didn't even care. What did she look like? Uh, she had, like, brown hair, glasses, like, old in the face, maybe in her 60s. Were you just gonna, like, fight someone? You just said somebody sexually harassed you. Somebody did sexually harass me, Molly. The fact that she was a senior citizen thought I had some grandma fetish makes it even weirder. Wow. Jeff, seriously? Grandma fetish? Really? Like, what did she actually say? Okay, she was, like, talking about a horse and then was like, you want to come home with me and see my horse? You're the worst, Jeff. Molly, you don't get it. She kept winking at me like that, you know? And then, you know, talking about studs and stuff. Like, who's the stud? Is she the stud? Am I the stud? Is my dick the stud? Like, Molly, the wink, it was like, like that. Maybe she has an eye condition. She doesn't have an eye condition, Molly. I know when I'm being propositioned. Do you, though? So she's an older lady, and she flirts with a younger married guy, and she doesn't gauge how she's coming across. Isn't. Isn't that more likely? Okay, so if the roles were reversed and it was a man doing that to you and Jeff, I came to his defense... Jeff, that is not the same at all. You know It's not that. the same thing, but it's similar. It's like that whole period thing. You're like, oh, having my period's worse than getting kicked in the balls. But when I get kicked in the balls, I can't even move. When you have your period, you're like doing all this stuff like in the kitchen making dinner, you know? People are different. literally no idea what you're referencing. That's because you always had me right, Molly. You only remember what you want. This is why we don't drink anymore. So, do you feel better? Get it out of your system? Yeah. It was just weird. That's all I'm saying. It was weird. I'm sorry. I won't bring it up. It's over. It's just, why would you be acting like you were trying to hook up with someone if you didn't want to bang? Bang? Oh, I thought you said you had this out of your system. 
I thought you were asleep. I am asleep. Okay, well, I'm reflecting. Out loud like an obsessive ass. Molly, you're gonna wake up Steven. You're gonna wake up Steven. Okay, fine, you know, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm removing myself from the situation, like Dr. Headley said, so I can respect your boundaries and not manifest any masculine rage. Are you gonna go find your winking woman? Molly, no. No, Jeff, it's okay. I want you to go find her. I'm releasing you from the bonds of marriage for one night only, no consequences. Go to her, go to her, explore her body and unlock its mysteries. Molly, come on. No, and while you're at it, you can screw the horse too. Screw the horse, get a horse STD, and then come home and bring me a horse STD. I don't care, just whatever makes you never, ever talk about this ever again. Fine, I'm going for a walk. I'm really leaving. I love you. I love you. Hey, buddy. Guess I didn't get the memo. What are you trying to say to me, man? You're outfit guy. Hitting the streets tonight in your PJs? Ugh, I don't know, I couldn't sleep. I needed the fresh air. I actually didn't even realize how far I'd gone. Angelo. Huh? My name, Angelo. Jeff. Where'd you come from, Jeff? Vancouver. Oh, tonight, yeah, uh, over by John Square. Shit, that's quite a hike. But hey, good news. There's a bus that can take you right back. Except, of course, after midnight, <laughs> the schedule gets a bit erratic. You know, I didn't even think about how I was going to get back. You know, I could use a drink. Can't. Six years sober. Wasn't thinking about you, but OK. Well, you said drink, so. No, no, no. I meant I could use a drink in a general sort of way. It was a statement, not an invite. Okay, sorry, misunderstood. Ah, don't worry about it, my friend. Hey, you don't need alcohol to have a good time, right? Are you doing a thing? Are you, like, trying to say something with that? Nope, not at all. You're fucking with me. I think you're fucking with me. Hey, take it easy. I got no reason to fuck with anybody. You can't always trust the head office, don't forget. I mean, the brain, of course. Okay, dude. I'm gonna go get a cab. Nice meeting you, I guess. Good luck in life and everything. And there goes another one. Hey, buddy! Hey, uh, you on duty? Cool, you know where Casper Place is over by John Square? Casper Place, sure, sure. Awesome, take me home. Home, yes, yes, no problem. Can we get in with you? I'm going to John Square. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> you look so oh. good. Oh, oh, my. oh my god, where are we going? Give me air. Hey man, we missed Casper Place. Sure, Casper Place. I don't get it. Are you like bringing them home first or something? Nope. First come, first serve. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. Okay, well, where are you taking me? I'm taking you home. <laughs> they say there's no place like it. Don't they? <laughs> I live back there, Casper Place, okay? Sure. You said take me home. I'm taking you home. It's okay, my friend. I know what you mean. Mom, I need more trees. 
Okay, Steve, you just come right back. Stop by to see what's what. Oh, thanks, B. That's sweet. Now, what's wrong? Is it Jeff? Oh, it's Jeff. Oh, honey. It's just, I never thought of him as the type of guy who would just disappear. And I keep waiting for him to be right back, and he's just not. My Terry's been gone for 17 years. Well, and I know Terry's not coming back, but, well, at least I got closure. You know, I had a dream that night that he left without getting dressed. Or maybe I, I threw him out, I don't remember, but he kept obsessing in real life, but also in the dream. I just, sometimes I'm not so sure. Oh, but either way, you can't blame yourself for every crazy idea that a man gets. You know, some tend to see things the way they see them and no other. And anyway, you got this lovely home here. Ain't that where they say the heart is? But do you have to run so far so soon? I'm for all side if it's over up by noon for you. And it happens yeah, much for too you often. And it happens much too often. Oh, and it happens much too often. And it happens much too often. Much too often, and it happens a lot.